goddamn third class citizens. <laughs> So me and Jack wasn't just in the right. We are the one percent. Oh, <laughs> and the cow doesn't know. Oh, I'm not wearing the suits anymore. Oh, I would have noticed that. Like right now. Well, no, remember? I'm, I'm wearing like more like down to earth clothing, and I've got like a straw hat on. At all. I don't remember you wearing a straw hat? I remember for Mexico you wore that kind of yeah. clothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still, still sticking with that. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna think I didn't he's four that. now. <laughs> <laughs> he's running third class. I he might have class. Well. I sold my house. I'm wearing normal people clothes. I'll just like I'll just talk to Jack West. I'm like, all those paid actors in Midnight California must be bleeding dry. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't seen his wagon in a while either. Back at midnight. He didn't see it. <laughs> well. I have to live again. I don't pay attention. Yeah, that's true. Jack West. You know if he ever talked about running over the legs of a marshal? <laughs> no, that happened before we got there. Yeah, did it? it. <laughs> Look, looking into Jack West's eye, did it? He might have paid someone off, though. <laughs> He's a third class. You don't have to look at him. He's not <laughs> anywhere near you guys. Yeah, I know. I just like looking at him listening to eating popcorn. <laughs> Look at the door. Yeah, it's basically like Indiana Jones style wear without the jacket mm-hmm. and a straw hat instead. Mm-hmm. What? What is his more What does he want? Yeah. I want John Valentine. Especially he's coming here. Hot as hell. John Valentine and Crescent and money and uh, something else. I don't know. Make earthquakes. Whatever. <laughs> but what? What does he want? I've never thought about that. Maybe he just wants the Crescent to play with it. He doesn't want John Valentine, I know that. He's liking those books we keep finding. Books. I am still reading a book. That's why I was checking. Was what books? Was uh, magic the next books. Book I'll him. Let you do the weird stuff we're seeing. I'm trying to find out how long this trip is. I think it's only... He has magical books? Oh, you didn't know. 48 no. hours. No, I didn't know he had magical books. Guess what I'm going to ask about when we get off the train. We're going to say July 12th when we're going to it's the magical books. <laughs> Alright. No, 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 and he would take out some of the pages of some of them, and I think I saw him burn some. Did you? That's up to Yori. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I did got, you ever I, burn them in front of no, people? No, no, did, did what I have known. I never burned them in front of people, but I did tell them to burn that entire book. Mm, you some of the books he, he wasn't there for that. Like, and he wants them burned. Jack West was. I, I guess the He wasn't there until you guys returned to, uh, to Wheel. He was still on the hill. I have to argue. Yeah, well, we're going to talk about this. You might have, I can't remember if we discussed this. He was, okay, Jack, no. he was saying, you have to destroy this book. He kept telling yeah. us Bloomberg, and she was like... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about now. Talk to the hand. <laughs> that was great. No, there was, a, there was a small white girl. She like actually took one of the books that he wanted to burn and ran off with it. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> he was losing it. Yes. I think he was out of his mind at the moment. Seems much more, uh, not cool headed. We should probably not let little wily girls run off with magic books, though. <laughs> well, you would have met her, that's right. And she would have left you guys in San Francisco. That's the last two seconds I was in San Francisco. Well, we burned down the hillbilly's house, so it should be fine. <laughs> Jack West, you get some sleep. I think there was an altar we might have blown up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> no, I thought we uh, we picked one. I'm just trying to. It might not have worked. Never had time. Oh, never you had blew, time. You burned down that one room. Oh, I didn't see the baby-headed giant. Nobody nobody told you about him murdering those kids either. So. Nobody knows I murdered kids. <laughs> yeah, Actually, no. He murdered children. He didn't, nobody knows yeah, about it, though. He was alone when it happened. It was a crazy fucking scenario, man. And they split the party three ways. It was great. It took forever. It took a long time for us to play it out. But that was fun. I, thought it was I, a really, I good really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, and you guys actually got the least action of anybody. Because you were just on the hill shooting at people. These oh guys were God, searching yeah. the house and all this crap. I appreciate the fact that you didn't mind. And it's my dog now. Oh, what, getting, so sweet, what, getting the mind control thing? Or? No, the whole thing. That whole scenario. You and John. The dynamite of I would go a little John. bit. You don't know shit about dynamite. You tried to set off like 50 sticks of dynamite to go off all at once. Yeah, of course you fucked it up. <laughs> I heard about what you tried to do. <laughs> anyway. And you're okay. lucky your friend saved your ass. <laughs> Jack West, you wake up on the train, and there's nobody else in the car at all. God damn it. What do you want to do? 
Oh, <laughs> Charlie Watson. Oh, always. It's just like something's going wrong. What do you want to do? Look over. There's no marshal. No. no, nobody. There's some people. There are people sitting in other places in the train. There's nobody in the first class section. Oh, ooh. How full was the first class when you were in? Well, probably about half full. People come and go. Different stops. Make my way towards the engine. No. In the dining car, you see a familiar face sitting at a table, drinking a, uh, drinking whiskey. And you recognize... Like, is he sitting inside, or do I... He's facing see? you. Oh, he's facing you. Yeah, you came in with the back door of the dining car, and up the front of the car facing you, you see the drifter. Oh. Sit down, Jack. Have a, a drink. He slides the <laughs> bottle across the table towards you, and there's a, another glass there. <laughs> oh, there is a doggy door. Yes. How's it been, Griffin? I just wanted to warn you, Jack. All those people you killed in Mexico. You're so close. I need to see you soon. You kill anybody else, and... I'm coming for you. Your vengeance. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know. I appreciate the warning. Oh, you won't see me coming. But I want you to know. He takes a bullet out from his from his like belt and drops it on the table and rolls towards you. And it rolls perfectly. And as it rolls, you see the name Jack West comes up and it stops. Just so you, it's all perfectly in your view. See you soon. And then you wake up with a start as the as the entire uh, car rattles. <laughs> and you see Clayton goes across from you, yeah, half pulled down. Sorry. And of course, <laughs> it's, it's a little unnerving. Somebody <laughs> says, I got here's the bullet, literally with your name on it. Um, Clayton Pierce has got his hat down. He's dozing. Uh, it's dark outside. Um, most of the other people in the first class car are dozing or trying to sleep or whatever. They put beds down. Did you guys bother putting your beds down? You're just going to leave the seats up, because these all have those fold-down bed kind of deals. Oh, shit. Yeah, first class. First first <laughs> bunk beds? Yeah, there's a bed bunk on the bottom, one folds down on the top, and then the two seats on the bottom fold down to make two beds. So we can recommend that you, they come back, the now. stewards come by around dusk, and they're like, we can switch your beds out for you now, and they, they help you put the beds together, they've got sheets for you. We would have just stayed in the seats, but if he's, if he's rageous, because I was just like, I'm tired of hearing this. Okay, so <laughs> that's what wakes you up as a steward. Sir, would you like us to... Uh, just to put your beds down? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh... That'd be yeah, good. You'll stand up, yeah. And then he helps you, he pulls down the top bunk, he gets the, the sheets on and everything. Uh, shows you where the curtains are, you can close them, ask if there's anything else you need, blah, blah, blah. You all right? And then he's off, he go help some other people. We might need some more, uh, silver bullets again. Uh, you hear laughter in your head <laughs> when you say that. <laughs> Mocking laughter, like... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, so the rest of the trip is, goes without a hitch. Also, uh, yes. on our way... Every, you get to meet all the terrible people. Every time I, I, every time I get a little bit of sleep in third class, uh, is that what I'm, uh, I'm thinking in my head, uh, I need guidance. Ah, just, yeah, just yeah, yeah. You haven't really had time to really do a lot of... Uh, um, oh, um, what's your clue with us? Uh, 21. Jesus. Dang it, that is high. Make me a roll on Cthulhu Mythos. Make me a roll. Alright. Yeah, right now, you're right now, you're not going to do much. 72! Okay. Uh, normal drinks for you. Alright. Uh, it's 48 hours, I'll give you two chances right, as, as you're asking for assistance. Give me another roll, same thing. 35, right. so close. So close. Not enough coins on the table to help them out. Remind me at some point, was my, I guess, that's okay. when we leave or something, to give more backstory that's going to be much more fun. More backstory? Oh, yeah, no. Because Kyle and I were talking about some fun back stuff. Just because I have a bad memory, I'm putting this out there now. Okay, I'll try to remind you. But you can't change your backstory. No, 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 no. There's yeah. just additional stuff from further back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have stuff in your childhood and shit, or when you're younger. Uh huh. So long as I approve it. You arrive in Yankton, Dakota Territory. Yes, right here. 
Hold Welcome on. to Yankton. Yankton. <laughs> but right now it's the territorial uh, capital. Yankton. And the biggest city in Dakota Territory, 3,000 people. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Yes. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, Dakota Territory hasn't been opened up too long. Oh, don't forget, the Indian Wars are happening right it's now. It's about the same population as it is. As a matter of fact, General Custard's folks just got wiped out oh, not too long ago by the Sioux. Uh, Battle of Little Bighorn was in June 25th. 300 men of the U.S. 7th Cavalry Regiment and Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer wiped out by 5,000 Lakota, Cheyenne, Arapaho, led by Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse. So those, the Indian Wars are going on right now. Um, That's why you call it disappeared. Could be. Maybe she's behind it all. Anyway. Um, so the Indian Wars are going on. It's not a good time for to be a native. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So my fighting is happening in Montana Territory, Colorado, various places around the country. Uh, you haven't heard of any uprisings or anything in Dakotas yet. So, there you go. I'm sure you will help it along as quickly as possible. Now, Yankton, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? You have a horse, but the, you're the only one in the group with a horse. This is as far as the railroad goes. Um, I didn't bring a horse. And there you go. There's the territory. Where so, do you want to go? so is the, the territory kind of goes like up in a line, I'm guessing, as far as like the towns go? Um, towns are actually listed on here. There's very, very little... Um, and once you get the further out you get, the fewer there are. It's only been recently opened for comp for uh, uh, with land grants. Um, people can buy land grants and get sections of land as long as they're going to stay there for five years and work the land. Uh, but for the most part, there's just it's brand new territory. So what you can do is you can again use social skills to try to find out information. Yeah. And the way this is going to be like a mini game. Um, as you move through different counties, you, in each county you can, each of you, uh, well, let me go try. Uh, in each county somebody can, let's see, which is, which is, which is, which is, which is, oh. um, uh, asking in Yankton, you can each spread out and try to find the information in this town. You'll need a social, uh, role. With a penalty die. Oh, okay. Because of the fact that in Dodge City there's specific information, there's not a specific information here. Uh, depending on how, how well you do, you'll get some information. Um, as you pass through these different counties, you can do the same thing and um, see if you can get some information from the locals to put you on your way. We'll keep doing this as long as it's entertaining, as long as it's boring, you'll get there. It's pretty much how it's going to work. I'm not going to run a mini game and everybody has no fun for an hour or whatever. Hopefully, it won't take that long. I got a weird question. What? Are there flare guns? Do what? Are there flare guns? Uh, I wouldn't say flare guns, but I'm sure like uh, rockets is what people use. Yeah. Little little rockets that you fire up into the air. Hmm. Hmm. I'll look it up. Because my idea would be. We kind of split up. And if we're getting information, just shoot up. Fire guns. Huh? That doesn't seem a good idea to you. Huh. I feel like that would. I mean, I've, I've, I've got a flare gun. Mm 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 mm. Flare guns are not around yet. If you see a lightning strike in the middle of day, oh and it's God. going in the wrong direction. When were they invented? 1877 mm. is when the military started using them. It looks like. Huh. I'm trying to find history. So we're close then, right? Yeah. Hey, it wasn't that silly of a question. We were almost there. Yeah. History. Earliest recorded use of gunpowder for signaling purposes. <laughs> but that's where we're going to need the rockets again. Yeah. Signal gun appeared in Korea in 1600. <gasps> Sometimes. Chinese are using rockets before they need guns. <laughs> yeah, they do. <did. laughs> What? <laughs> what was that? They need a wobble. History of flares. That's flares. That's not flare guns. I don't think flare guns are around yet. For sure. And um, right now they use rockets. We wouldn't find them in the A code ship code. at sea will have a few rockets potentially on it. You fire a rocket up when you get in trouble and hope that some other ship within 10 or 15 miles will see it. There's no like wireless radio communication or anything like that. So that's pretty much the only distress signal. I'm surprised she makes a few there, but. 
<laughs> She's going so fast. I won't when she gets bigger. Um, I don't know bigger she is. So, anyway. Well, first of all, we, have, Anthony, we yeah. have some first business to attend to. <laughs> um, as, as, I, as, I, as I start stretching, because I'm getting out of third class, and I've been cramped for like however long we've been. Maybe crying. Three day, two days? Two days, 48 hours. Yeah. July 14th, you're in Anthony. Mid afternoon. Where are the magical books? And why was that not the first thing you told me when you <laughs> met me in midnight? They're in midnight, except for this one. And I point out my satchel. Is that the one you lent James? James Brown, where's the one that you stole? You have the Sussex manuscript. That's the one you stole from Vice Vault or, or Jacali's bag, one of the Elder books. Because you used that to learn how to cast your spell. That's right. Do you, did you not even mention it to him? Okay. You know he has that book. I, I know he has a book. Okay, so you didn't mention it to him. <laughs> I, I don't even think to say that Jack Here was. Here he goes, the Lord. Under the bus. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think to say that Jack was has a book. Yeah. You do uh, remember that it's, uh, you it's, know, um, it's been months since we played. So. It's from like, I, th- I think it was like 1700s. Which uh, book? Magic, uh, <laughs> theory, theories of Magic. It's, it's a book I found. It's called Theories right, of Magic. How long has it been since our last thing? It's been a while. It's written by an English book. It was last semester. So. Why didn't you tell me? <clears throat> you want to learn magic? I don't want to learn magic, but I want to know when someone I'm traveling with is learning magic. I've been learning magic the whole time. And Did you, you tell us about the cat? I'm in the wrong section. Was it pertinent? Did you tell me yeah. that? I mean, I don't know anything like... That guy die. But I, you're trying to. No. Cultists. What are you trying to do? Uh, things for finding people. Uh, like protecting myself. Uh, talking Still with the dead. Which dead what is you? have good information. I still need to know if that's what you're trying to do. Well, talking with the dead? Tell by advice. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I can do that one. You can talk to the dead. So. Yeah. I've done it a few times to uh, save us. You remember uh, the slime house? On things unseen? Is that the book you have? Um, what, what spell are you trying to remember? I'm not learning a spell right now. I'm okay. the book. It was like theories of magic. Book of Lesser Summoning. Book of Werewolves. The Magus or Celestial <laughs> Intelligence being... Wait, what was the last one? Did you about? The Magus or Celestial Intelligence are being a complete system of occult philosophy. It might be that. Wonders of the Invisible <laughs> World. <laughs> Maybe it's Wonders of the Invisible World. It's, I can tell you what spells are in it. Yeah, what spells are in it? That would actually help me. I have these all listed down, so... Yes, spells? Okay. Does that have more than one spell? Yeah, find that out. We're going to try to figure out which book he has. I've got kind of a list here, but it's become kind of... It has exhaustive. Uh, consume Likeness, uh, consume likeness. Uh, which I tore out. Yeah. Ah, boom. That is On Things Unseen. Things Unseen. Yeah, held by Professor Stallone. Read by Professor Stallone. Okay, so it's actually called Things Unseen. It's about theories of magic and stuff. I I really find it. Yours is cult, uh, Cultus, Cultus Maleficarum. Now, see, that sounds bad. Slash the Sussex Manuscript. <laughs> I'm not hearing that. He doesn't I know, know about that, though. Oh, that Yeah, it's, uh... I'm, like, reading this book. You know, Stallone's got, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to learn how to spell this wrong. <laughs> See how many grams in your book and shit, and I'm just like, what are you? Hey, you two, you two crazies. I can't read. <laughs> I, I'm not going to read. Let me uh, uh, one of Let's spells. see. <laughs> One things I've seen is, um, yeah, uh, the cover's quarter inch thick sheets of wood covered with leather, and the pages are vellum. Small lock holds the book closed. I believe it was Jimmy to open. It's like a very um, nice book. Uh, you could say to him, in this, this early 17th century English tome is roughly contemporary with the works of Shakespeare and the King James Bible. It contains a few. Spells plus lengthy theories about the behavior of light and magical emanations and visibility and the detection of magic in general. Jesus was a wizard. That's what he's telling you. It's a, it's a holy scripture, sir. This one. Well. Now, other books I have, I would Ow. never describe them as that. Why do you still have them? Ow! I don't. They're in the midnight. Why didn't you destroy them? I did destroy parts of them. Yes. Yeah. The parts I see necessary. Anything you're talking about some kind devils, dogs, certain things. What you figure, well, it'll protect that part of your body. Oh. Are you the only one that's been reading it? It has to be put on something that's relatively permanent, something solid. Why is Walt's red? You figured you couldn't put them on bullets. They wouldn't do any good. Um, your best bet. The way to describe it's used 
is you put it on yeah, something like you books. seal something up he's and really put the other side on like a huge seal or something too. More like a He's with us, by the way. Yes. He's reading a book and he won't let me see. You have a magical book? It may have slipped my mind. <laughs> Actually, he let me see a section of it. It was for that uh, that spell that uh, made the earthquake happen, um, but I didn't understand it. He didn't let me have it enough time to really get in there. Yeah, it's like a magical sealing spell. What? What are you all trying to do with these books? Do you want to show him Stop the book? John Valentine. Yeah. He pulls out the book. See, uh, it's pretty old. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a holy book. You can open up the front page, look, read the front piece if you want to see what it is. Just like the introduction. Yeah, what does it say? It says, being a translation of my own devising of the ancient book by the mad Arab known as Abdul Al Hazrad, being entitled Al Azim, more commonly known as, more commonly known in the Greek as the Necronomicon. The title on it is Cultus Maleficarum. <laughs> and you immediately go out. That's enough for one day. That's all Jack's read. No. Do you know any Latin? No. What were the other things in that one? His that? is in English. Is yours in Latin? No, I meant like, so you no, would, so would know what Necronomicon means. No, that's the Greek Necronomicon. Oh, okay. Have you looked at that book at all yet? Just the other time section. So I got uh, make me a Cthulhu Mythos roll. You can, make one too. On you can make one too if you have any Cthulhu Mythos. I think I have on Necronomicon. Have you, and you didn't get it? But I think I have. Okay. Uh, you can make another one. It's been oh. a while. You've had weird dreams since. 13, man. Out of what? Oh, five. Oh, it's not that's low, though, man. That's close. Yeah. Now, nobody, okay, so nobody's heard any other things about the Necronomicon. Yankton. Would I have been able to read and possibly learn something? Uh, you haven't. It slipped your mind that you even had the book. You're like, oh shit! <laughs> but if you want to start now, you can put a date down, and um, we can figure out how long it's going to take. Are you thoroughly you. reading or skimming? You haven't read the book yet. You don't have to. You can just try to find the information you want. Yeah. It's usually better to read the book first because then you would be like, well, part of the spell's here, and part of it's on page 700. <laughs> oh, this is the part where it says you shouldn't do this. <laughs> Why is it after the exact spell? <laughs> yeah. Why is it five? Just read these after? words to have your greatest wishes commanded. Excellent. Flip the page. Never ever do this. <laughs> oh, it's written in blood. <laughs> well, that wasn't Hilda, basically. Damn it. All right. All I'm asking is, you keep your book, and it's five hundred pages. I guess you keep your book. But if you learn anything, tell me. Okay. What do you want to know? I know how to do. Everything you know. What can you do? You can skim it too. Okay, I can. Point. If I need to, you which I never want to, uh, Ophelia taught me how to do it. I can talk to her god, and then then I learned the elders. So this okay, you probably did skim it. If we needed uh, guidance, okay. but my god tells me I can. I shouldn't do that. Today, yeah, you have skimmed it. Okay, because you god? get a certain um, amount of points. Fast. You get more if you read it. Uh, it's an Egyptian god of uh, cats. You the one that wrote on your picture in your room? That was a stressful time for me, yes. I was coming into my religion. I don't think Christians ever wrote that kind of stuff on the back of <laughs> Jesus' picture. You don't remember writing anything on the back of a painting. I don't, I don't remember. What was it? It can't be, it can't be? Something like that, yes. It can't be, it can't be? Can't Sounds be Sounds like a great God to have. What are you talking about? <laughs> what was on the back of your picture? My picture. Okay. All my pictures are in midnight. No, oh, one you left at your sold house. It's not a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> Kid runs by. Um, you do remember rip, tearing the eyes out of a photo of a of a of a painting. It wasn't a painting of you. It was just a painting of a man with a cat. Remember, you ripped the yeah. the cat. Out, so he might have thought it was you. He might not have looked that closely at it. Well, once again, it was a stretch of time. Because I had just learned at that point uh, the other spell I know. Which I only is? know three. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to tell you this one. You're going to tell us. I can bring people back to life. Well, that is a very good one to have. I would like to have known that. Who do you want to bring back to life? Oh, I get it. Okay. Hey, Thank you. I, I brought the cat back to life. Why? Uh, test. I'm not going to try that on a human the first time. Smart. 
I've never uh, had it. And that's when I met my god. But the Tolkien quote on that. That wise man brewing? Because that is who it is, right? Uh, wise, man. wise man brewing, merry world. If more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. J.R.R. Tolkien. I like, uh, that's cool. I like Wise Man a lot. They made some good stuff. In this is good. Um, all right. What do you know how to do, Jack West? Uh, just that one doohickey with the uh, picture on it that locks things, seals up bad stuff. Oh, the seal? Yeah. All right. Uh, apparently it uh, trains your ability to do things. I'll just use your soul. Now I can do that fine. Have you tried that? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Have you? Oh well, yeah. Whenever I'm idling and waiting on this guy to do stuff, I'll just, <laughs> just, just shoot it. Just, just shoot a can up in the air, sail along. You can do target practice, yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. You smoke now? Sometimes. We talk about the cat guy. Is your hand shaking? Your <laughs> hand shaking a little bit? A little bit. You're remembering that night. That was an unpleasant night. Yeah. And then you all left me. Hmm? Oh, I mean, yeah. Everybody left me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think Clayton Pierce was. Were you there for that one? I don't remember where I am. I think so, though. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, everybody looked around the house, and he was nowhere to be found. Yeah, he was, you were there. Look was, at it was you. that night of the terrible thunderstorm at my house? Probably. Probably related. Probably. we got to go look for the Sparks guy, though. Yeah. But, we're any more Sparks spells. person. I want to know. Girl. Sparks is a girl. Right. <laughs> right? <No. laughs> he writes anything so. down, so... Um, I am now. All right, you guys can take make one check with uh, a social skill. Tonight. All right, martial law. See what you can find out. Okay, oh, like oh, we're just rolling a skill. Social skill. It doesn't matter where we go. No, no. Um, like I said, this is like a million million. Uh, with a penalty die. Yes, thank you. Uh, because there's not much information in the anti. Uh, it's the ten die. The penalty die, right? Yes, you re-roll the ten die. You take your worst. Jesus, 84. Are you, are you really just going to uh, let me go on your territory intimidating the whole way? If you want. I'm scared to do that. Well, how, you could. it depends on the tact you take. I too. intimidate people all the time. So. Uh, Jack Smith, uh, Jack West just grabs yeah, people and starts screaming in their faces. Uh, what about, uh, what about this is my family? Uh, there's not going to be rumors like bouncing around. Right no, no. no. This is, you're going to have to actually persuade. Did you make your... You're intimidated. You could also take from people who are going to die if you give them this information. You know, that kind there's of crap. There's a good way and to get in their it. face. Yeah. Uh, it's not really a good way, but it's not. I'm going to kill you if you don't talk. But yeah, you can use intimidation. That's probably got to spend most of it. You don't have more. If you intimidate, it goes really, really poorly. Um, I will need a degree of success. So, what? Regular. Regular success. Um... Regular success. Let's see. We're gonna love you. Regular info. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of the sparks. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Were you the only success? Jack West, did you not make a success? No. Okay, you already didn't get what you hear, Kyle, is um you ha- you do hear about uh, she's a gypsy, half breed of some kind. The past the Yankton a few yeah. weeks ago. Passed through Yankton. Yes. Um North Head northwest. But that's about all the information you can get in the internet. Alright, I'll find these guys really quick. And yeah. I'm Jane assuming here. you're staying at the same hotel. Yeah. She ain't here. You don't want to press on. She was here a couple of weeks ago. I mean, she's already been through here. I know it's night, but we can press through. Yeah, I'll have to get some horses. So. Yeah. They need horses. Um, I would assume I'd If it's been a few weeks, you're probably not in any real big hurry. I would have covered her. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, no, I I would assume that my horse. Oh, you brought your horse? Oh, yeah, yeah. If he knew oh, I was paying. You need to rent yeah, or purchase yeah. a horse. <laughs> so, which one would you prefer? Uh, right. Just like this <laughs> Kansas wallet. Okay. Um, mark off fifty dollar deposit. Uh huh. Um, put a note on your character sheet. Fifty dollar deposit. You get that when you return the horse to me. Otherwise, the cost is going to be uh, less than your daily. So we're not going to even worry about. How does renting a horse work? Um. You have to put down a massive deposit, fifty dollars in this case, uh, in order to, which is more probably than the value of the horse. That's what I was about to say. And um, 
you get that all that money back when when uh, and it, it, it's gonna have to be a big town, big city. Or you're gonna have to be friends with somebody or know somebody who's willing to loan you their horse or whatever. Nobody knows them in Yankton. They're, there's somebody who's willing to rent them a horse, but they want a fifty dollar deposit. They're gonna give them that money back when he returns to the horse, and they're gonna charge him like a dollar a day or fifty cent a day or something like that. He can cover that with his daily, and I don't, we're not gonna worry about the paperwork. Right? It's not that big. Yeah. Of so still, it'll have to mark off fifty bucks if this horse gets killed or he doesn't bring it back. Um, because that money's gone. Um, otherwise he'll get that cash back. It's not a big deal. Well, right, horses is a good business. Well, I don't think many people do it, and it only be in the bigger towns and cities. So, you guys head out the next day, the fifteenth. Does that work? Okay. So, um, you can make on horseback. You can make roughly uh, fifty miles a day if you push your horses. Not to the point where they're going to die, but if you push them. Each one of these little squares is about a mile. Oh, shit. Uh, so, and you're starting in Yankton. So how far do you want to go northwest before you start asking around about this lady again? What you're going to end up finding are individual farms, little tiny settlements of maybe a dozen people, um, mostly sod houses and that kind of stuff, uh, a few ranches, probably a few cattle ranches, that kind of thing. But what we're going to do is each one, I will check. First, what is who's got low luck? Low luck? Should it be me? Uh, who's the lowest luck in the party? Kyle. What's your luck, Kyle? 70. Oh, no, I'm 70. It's me. 65. 65. Okay. So I'm going to make a low luck check for you guys. That's to determine if there's any information to be had. We're the lucky boys. So, if, yeah, you guys are. If, uh, if, uh, if there's no information to be had, you can't find any. Uh, otherwise, you can check. Um, let me know where, how far you want to go before you start, you know, knocking on people's doors. Uh, in a day, you could probably make it, I don't know, pretty far. Can I do an um, idea check or something? For what? Because I have an idea, but usually I want to see if you've got any, like, idea to help me. What is your idea? My, I'm trying to figure out why she's going northwest. Like, what's northwest? What could possibly be northwest? Uh, it sounds to me like she's just trying to make it to, like, the border or some shit. Could be. You know that Indian Territory starts at the Missouri River right here. This is Indian Territory over here. Right. So she could be heading for Indian Territory. So it sounds like. But if you ask at certain at settlements along the way, you might, uh, if you head northwest, you might be able to say, oh, hey, have you seen this person or whatever? And they might be like, yeah. And depending upon your degree of success, they might actually have more information. Uh, critical fails and shit, um, they might get out the shotgun. Be like, get the hell off my land. Well, what is, so if we choose, like, something less than 50 miles, yeah, you can do that. are we still going to be able to travel further? Yes. In the same day? Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't know if it was like You can that, travel roughly 50 miles a day. You're spending your day here. No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is like a minigame. It's assuming you pick a place in one of these counties, uh, you, you stumble across a farmer settlement, and you ask them if they've seen this lady, or John Valentine, or whatever you want to ask, and then we make a couple rolls, and we see how successful you are. Why don't we go to Buffalo, then? Buffalo County. That's, that's pretty. That's pretty far enough west, but it's not really there. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. She's got. She's got a couple of days on her. Yes. Okay. Um. There's the group love check. One of you can make a social check at this farm. No. <laughs> I have a good intimidate. <laughs> intimidate isn't necessarily the best way to handle. I know. That, I can, that, I can that, walk up. Um, you got persuade, don't you? Persuade. Yeah. Okay. I, I, don't want, I don't want the numbers, but like I would have to intimidate. Yeah, well. you would have to be kind of mean, and if it goes wrong, these people might start shooting at you. Does he do penalty die? Uh, no, no, no. This is there's a uh, this is just regular roll. All right. Hard. Uh, hard. Hard success. Ooh, wow. uh, nice. No, they haven't seen anything. Ah, nice. Right. And I'll just throw it out there that I rolled a 92 for your luck check. She did not come past this particular one. Uh, yeah, so you, you can keep moving and asking another county the same day. So you said this is the Indian Territory, right? Yeah, Missouri River is past this Indian Territory. There are so some counties listed. We're on the border right now. At Buffalo? Yeah. It's Sioux Lands over there. Um, else you do hear a lot of people. Uh, you do get some gossip from these people, Yori. Hmm? Uh, some gossip about them being worried about the Sioux coming across the Missouri and attacking them. Gotcha. What about Sully? We go Sully. I want to stay on the border. I don't okay. want to go across the border. So you're just kind of following the river up? So, yeah, we're right here now. Okay. That would be as far as you probably can make that day. Okay. Um, are you going to ask for it, Yori? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make another roll. 
Um, is that three? Thirty-two. Uh, hard. Thirty-two. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, you're probably gonna have to spend the night here. It's getting dark unless you're gonna just sleep out under the stars. They, um, they do know, uh, there was a, a lady named Daisy Sparks. She came through. She was, had a, had a, uh, like a gypsy wagon. Uh, moving pretty slow. Um, and, uh, she was hidden, uh, when, when she left there, uh, she was, Oh yeah, there we go. Was it Sully County? You said Kyle? Yes. Yeah, uh, she was heading due north. Yeah. Due north. Yeah, you guys are uh, actually. You found this settlement. You found this settlement on the east side of the county. As it was getting dark. Hmm. She found out where she was. She asked where she was. We told her about Sully County and blah blah east side of the And she headed north out of here. Straight home. Mm-hmm. I sure the river. I don't know where the river would be. Well, well you got any place we can stay the night? Or we yeah. on our way in the morning? Yeah, they'll put you up. Yes, sir. Um, What's the date? Oh, that I'm would, track track that would be the 15th. Of what? The Marshall. Do lie. The Marshall oh, is red. Uh, I finished reading the, uh, the on the fourth before that. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> things Unseen. Of Things Unseen. Uh, of Things Unseen is... Ha. Yeah. What's today's date, by the way? Fifteen. On things unseen. Uh, okay, Yori, give me a sanity check. All right. I only just realized those were the two guys. Oh, two. hard. That played your session. Yeah, they were. Hard success. You lose a point of sanity. Oh, the new guy. Yeah, he ran. He ran. Two uh, you get a point of Cthulhu Mythos. Right. So mark a point of sanity off. Mark a point of Cthulhu Mythos up. That did work in that. Um. Uh. Did I give you all the names of the spells in there yet? I think so. Okay. Uh, read by the Professor Lord, yes. Now, you can use these books, too, if you want to find out something about the Thun Mythos. Once you've read them, you can consult them, and there's a percentage chance that they'll have information. Yeah, Lazinski died. Nice. Kids never played Call of Cthulhu before, and uh, uh, 